Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Josh Keatley and I got some great gameplay for you. I went 15 and 0 on Search and Destroy on Solar. Now this was around the first or second week that Advanced Warfare came out. So I was playing against a lot of noobs. I was also a little bit of a noob. So if I do something funny in here, you know, it's, it was like the first week Advanced Warfare came out. And I do have the bow 27 with the foregrip, red dot, and suppressor. And I have on the UAV, remote turret, and warbird. I have no clue why I have the remote turret or the warbird on. I might have just prestige and I still had the kind of default thing. I might have been trying things out, but I definitely don't think I was completely set up for search and destroy. I would never run this class now. But either way, I did do pretty good. You can see this guy eats a lot of bullets right here but i do eat a lot of bullets in this gameplay too you'll see in a bit and that's something i don't like about advanced warfare how it can go either way see right there my whole screen is red but i already did hurt him before he got in that room so i definitely think i deserved that win maybe they gave me that win for not giving it to me earlier when he should have been dead but I do go 5-0 and on the very first round, you know, pretty beast round of Search and Destroy. I clutched it, killing the entire team. That's extremely beast. I do that sometimes even like in rank play, you know, against other good players. And that's something I love about Search and Destroy. Just that, that moment where you're the last one alive. It's up to you to get the win, you know, win the rounds. And when you do, it's, it's such a rewarding feeling. I, I love that feeling. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think about Search and Destroy. Do you really like it or not? I used to absolutely hate Search and Destroy because I felt like it was too slow. If you're the one constantly dying, you gotta watch other players. But now, you know, I take things a little bit slower. Even when I'm playing TDM, I'm good at playing every type of objective. I know, you know, hard point, I'm really good at rushing. Momentum, I'm good at rushing. But Search and Destroy really helps you to slow down some. Take it slow when you need to it really makes you an overall good player you know it because you, you go around corners slower you check every corner now looking at that replay I was looking out for that guy I don't know how he didn't see me that's a, a good moment where you should definitely should check in the corners if he would have came in that room the right way he would have easily been able to shoot me but he didn't look in the corner you always got to check your corners when you come into a new room now you can see here I did get the warbird and I was a able to call that in that is very nice and search and destroy now i don't have any specials on this warbird i think you know without upgrading at all it's not that good you know i'm definitely having trouble getting kills with it and it overheats now i've heard a lot of youtubers complain about the warbird that it's not that good and I definitely agree, but I know every single score streak, you have to upgrade it for it to be any good at all. So a lot of times, like now, especially, I even use the kind of medium score streaks and just upgrade them fully so that, you know, they at least give me anywhere from three to six kills, you know, every time I use that score streak. Now, I do like going through this tunnel right here. You know, it's a good advantage anywhere in the game. I see a guy shooting over there and right here you see me like I think there's a guy right above me I heard him I know he's around me and I get the kill right there but I definitely should have been dead like he shot me in the back while I was looking up in the air there's no reason I, I should be alive right now I am completely dead and I'm pretty sure he just shot me again and that was one of the, the reasons I was really debating whether to put this gameplay up because I did go flawless but I think that moment right there, I definitely deserve to die. And that's something that I don't like about Advanced Warfare. I think if you're the first person to shoot somebody, you know, you obviously should get the kill. I mean, it does matter where you shoot them and everything like that, what gun, you know, how close. But there, there's so many unfair times where if you don't have the host advantage, you're gonna lose the gunfight or someone else has lag compensation, you know, benefiting them. They're gonna win that gunfight regardless whether you get the first shot in or not. And I, I definitely, I don't agree with it at all. You know, it's this way every Call of Duty, you know, every single Call of Duty's had this, but I think Advanced Warfare, it is really bad. Something I really hope that they get this fixed. And I see it a lot of times, even with the pros too. You know, the pros are constantly bitching about that. Now, after 
I plant that bomb, I hurry up, put my sentry gun down. I was hoping that would pick off someone trying to plant that bomb. But there is only one guy left. And I should have probably died right there from that grenade. I don't believe I have flak jacket on. But I just, you know, eat that grenade like I'm a juggernaut. You know, but I did go 15 and 0. I don't think I should have deserved the flawless, but yet I still did play pretty good. And that was my best search and destroy game on Advanced Warfare. Definitely let me know what your best game was. I do want to thank you guys so much for watching my video today, and you have a great day today.